do not be surprised at the fiery ordeal that has come on to you to test you. Dear Lord, banish all the evil from Father Peter. Destroy it, vanish it, so that he may be healthy and do good deeds. Must be the rookie. I demand you reveal your name in the name of God. My true name is a mouthful, so you could call me Dio. Your father, Peter, right? How do you know my name? Being an ancient spirit of evil has its perks, kid. Dealt a Christi as you on the musky. From what I hear. You're the only one in the bishop's class that's not been able to exercise a demon. That's why you're here, isn't it? I'm one of the tame ones, kiddo. And if you can't make me leave... I demand that you leave this body now and return to hell. You foul, unholy... <laughs> Defend us in our battle against principalities and powers. Can I give you some friendly advice? That prayer does dick all. I beg your pardon? I know you think that it bathes you in holy water or something. Oh, but it's just a waste of time. So skip the foreplay and get right to the juicy part. Transfigure artists in Angelum Lucis! Look me in the eye while you do it. You need to let the demon know that you're unafraid because you have God or whatever on your side. Just try it. Transfigure artists in Angelus Lucis! <laughs> Very good. Keep going. Why are you trying to help me? I'm bored. And honestly, it's a bit painful having to watch you fail so hard. Dead Christy! A truth! And a mask! So, why do you want to be an exorcist? I want to help people. Oh, sure. But there are other ways. To be honest, I don't think you have it in you, kid. Ah. Now, don't take it personally. It's not for everyone. It's not that you lack conviction or dedication. Be silent, devil. Back to this. Ugh. After a week of getting to know one another, ugh. admit it, I am not the only demon in your life. Am I, Peter? You are trying to manipulate me. You want to help others fight their demons because you have so many of your own. You don't know anything about me. Ah! Oh, oh, please tell me you have some kind of a 
dramatic, complex past while you're doing this, huh? Tell me, huh? Lots of sex and sin? Hmm? It has nothing to do with my ah, past. Don't tease me. Tell me. My church is in the heart of a slum. The people there have hard lives. I grew tired of listening to their confessions and only being able to tell them that God is with them. And I decided to take action. Father Peter, focus. Shall I tell you my story? Hmm? Ah, uh, don't talk so hard, you just made it worse. I was once an angel of the Lord. Yeah, I know. Can't you imagine me with white fluffy wings? I was adorable. Anyways, when I fell, that's when Lucifer fell. And I thought because he was the strongest that he was right. And I regretted it ever since. What are you trying to say? Even angels can misplace their devotion. Father Peter, that is enough for today. Anymore. Someone finally find your porn connection. You foul creature, filling a child of God with putrid doubts, twisting his faith. Ursha. Father, you have allowed this creature to influence you. I will do what you cannot. I will purge this innocent from this demon, and maybe I can save your soul as well. You were a fool for letting me get so close. Do you, damn Peter, not you me! Gente passe, gloria! Gente passe! Hello, darling. Yes, can we just not? I'm tired. As you can see, I've ridden my meal too hard. I just want to talk. What are you doing here? I thought you would have been long gone. You know, I thought about it, but I couldn't leave without knowing why you let me go. As if I could have stopped you. You know I don't have that kind of power or violence in me. I cannot find God by causing you pain. It's funny, because in my experience, God loves causing pain. In my experience, God is cruel. But that was never the God I loved. As a child, I saw God in everything. He was in flowers and music and the people I loved. When I got older, I realized God wasn't always in the nice things. He exists in hate and violence just as much as he does in love and beauty. How can I help people when it is he who creates and tests us on our hardships? Shall I tell you why I returned? I can only imagine returning. Tempting, but no. I need a new meat suit, and you need a new sense of purpose. Let me try you on. You can't possibly imagine that I would. We could share. Think about it. Who better to fight demons than one of their own? You would provide the moral compass, and I the darkness necessary to fight evil. I still believe in God's plan. I can't stop you from loving God. You want to help people fight their demons. Sometimes to fight demons, you have to become one. What's in it for you? What 
would you believe me if I said I would like to redeem myself? No. Smart boy. If you accept my offer, at least you would be stopping me from wearing some other poor schmuck. I can't possibly trust you. Oh, you'd be a fool if you didn't a waste of my time. Light and dark don't need to exist separately. Use evil to your advantage. Without me, you'll spend your life listening to your people in confession, never able to truly help them. I will damn myself. Better you than thousands of others.